Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at Comic Con 2018, chatting with Paul Francis of Chronicle Collectibles. Paul, we saw you at E3 where you were yeah, showing some, a month ago. I right? know, just a month ago, you were showing some Fallout <laughs> props. But now you're at Comic Con yeah. with more movie-based props. Yeah, this is this is the show where we we tend to show our high-end pieces that we do. Doing the Fallout pieces, doing the Think Geek, the GameStop. We like to say that pays the bills, and it's really fun to do. But this is where our passion, you know, really lies is in the high-end replicas. And in the past couple of years, I've seen a lot of great dinosaur stuff come. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World license. Yeah. And here you have both Jurassic Park and Jurassic World in quarter scale and one-to-one -one scale. That's true, yeah. So what we've done is we've, we've actually partnered with a couple of companies too. We now distribute Prom 1. We now distribute... Uh, Iron Studios, and the reason we distribute those and not somebody like Sideshow is we're the exclusive licensee in the United States. Got just it, to clarify sure. that for folks right. out there. So they may see like us selling two Baby Blues, and I just wanted to explain why. So with Baby Blue, the great thing about having access to someone like Glenn McIntosh and ILM was they created the file for this. We we didn't make this. Mm -hmm. This was this was sent to us pre-posed. And then Dean, when he got it, he thought it was a little stiff, and he just put that head lilt in it. So, so he turned the head just slightly, and that's the only change we made to ILM's file. When they so. give you a file, I know all that geometry is there. And I gotta say, this one, even though it's a digital file, it looks hand sculpted. It They're does, right? Very, it has a little bit of a feel to it. Absolutely. Is any of that rigged where you can pose it at all? If you can create, so add some no, we don't. We don't always get wired models, is what we call those, where you can pose it yourself. Mm -hmm. We do get. We did get one for the T Rex, which was mm. really handy, because uh, we're doing a Rotunda Rex where the banner falls. Got it. Wow. Um, so with blue, it pretty much came in with the I Rex. Glenn did such a great job posing that with the lilt and the foot, and it mm. was just. It was a beautiful pose, but Baby Blue, we didn't want to change the thing. All we want to do is give her a little life, so we turned the head and cocked it just a little bit, and then about three weeks ago. They said, hey, you're missing the armband, yes, her yes. little armband. So they sent us the images, or Glenn sent us the images of the armband. Uh, Alex got those printed, we got it on the blue. So ours will have the armband. And it will be a removable piece. So if you don't like the armband, you can take it off. You know? I love that it's one-to-one. -one. I love that even in the film, when you see Chris Pratt interacting with <laughs> right. the CG model, you don't get a sense of how how big uh, yeah, we did Yeah, we did a photo of me posing with it on the website. And people go, you're gargantuan. You know, you need to have a normal size person because it looks small. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, is... she's 37 inches head to toe. Wow, how much does Baby Blue weigh? So this is our new printer uh, partner overseas, and it's all printed in one piece, so it's very light. It's under a probably oh for that. wow so, okay yeah. and she's all printed and for most of our big stuff moving forward we're gonna stop doing molding and casting so like with Bowie that's all printed we didn't really? mold and cast any of that yeah and we just do two prototypes and then we send the files directly to our factory overseas mm -hmm. and they print and make the masters from our existing files so it's always gonna be exactly the same no it's exactly the same required. but it, what it does is it just removes a big cost for me because I don't have to mold it I don't have yeah. to cast it I don't have to yeah. sand it I don't have to do all that stuff now we can just go from print to finish so. years ago when we were talking about <laughs> Terror Dog you were talking about creating molds to shrinking molds and growing yeah, molds just now, a different scale yeah, now you can just drag we just, it we, you just click and drag Dean puts a size in there he wants yeah. it to print it and we print it put so. the money in the, in the paint finish <laughs> yeah right well the uh, I want to give a lot of credit to uh, Steve Riojas Kyle Stockton and Alex Alva because they, they absolutely crushed it, I think, on Baby Blue. Because it's not an easy paint job, as you can see. So Right. Well, from polystone to 3D printed pieces. Also, the looks like you have a lot of different materials. You yeah, we're mixed media. Now. Yeah. you got like, <laughs> yeah. metal parts here. Yeah, we, we, we've gotten kind of deep with um, the Henson Company. And one of the pieces that we've always want, what I've always wanted to do is a fizz gig. I mean, it's just a great piece. But look at it, it's terrifying. It's fur, it's got a tail. I didn't even know it had four legs in mm -hmm. the film. You only ever see like two hanging on the wall, but when they sent us the images, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's got four legs yeah. actually. And, and it's got like a little raccoon tail or a lemur tail that it's got going out the back. So we, we tried to replicate that as exact as we could. And from what we hear, Fizzgig plays a big role in the prequel to Dark Show. Crystal. Yeah, yeah, so, so this is a puppet. It is, it's a it's a one-to-one. -one a uh, cosplay puppet that mm. you can take to the conventions. It, it fully works. You wear it on its arm, but the way the tail and the hair work, it doesn't look like a puppet. You, it looks like you're cradling 
life is gig. You know, and, and, and it's that's crazy. how for and that's, the film. That's how it was done in the film exactly, as well. Exactly, which gives the collector a sense of connection <laughs> exactly, with the film. Exactly. Which is why exactly. I love hand props too. And one hand prop I remember seeing a couple years ago that you guys are have again is yeah the Barbasol can. So the big news for that is that we debuted here at the show. We got uh, permission from Barbasol. Oh. We got permission from Universal, and it is co-licensed now. And we are fully making one-to-one. -one, fully working, all metal, Barbazol cans. We're gonna be working with Barbazol to, to do the exact original can, and they're supplying us with the exact original uh, labels, which don't have the, the of course, a website, because yes, there were no yeah. websites in 1992. So this one is a modern can, and this was a, a Rallo uh, Palmetto FX, a buddy of mine on the RPF, mm -hmm. who you may know, old yeah. school model yeah. builder. Um, we, he sent me these a few years ago, and we've just been kind of using them as prototypes, but we've recently gotten access to the screen use can. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you this, I'll give a shout out to, to Rilo. It's pretty good? There's no difference. Oh, awesome. I mean, it's like 100%, because Rilo went, uh, got a behind the scenes tour somewhere, and they had it on display, and yeah. he snuck over there and took measurements. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, prop guys, we're always yeah, of course. reference, reference, reference. Well, and you if know. you can get the actual label from Barbasol, <laughs> yeah. then it's never going to get any better than that. It's going to make it. Yeah. It's so just going to make it. The actual machining of that, how, how do yes. you imagine that's going to be made? Is it going to be cast pieces? So, it's no, gonna... it's all going to be machined Machine. aluminum. Wow. Yeah, we're dealing with a new vendor of ours who's Universal approved, and they do aircraft parts. Oh, okay. So, they, they basically have told us we're, our Target price for this is under one hundred twenty-five dollars. That's insane. But for machine be because, parts, because we're going to do volume. You know, we're going to make maybe twenty-five hundred of these. You know, yeah. because we know it's going to be popular. Barbazol wants to be on board with this piece. So if we push that on social media, it's going to create a lot of awareness for the Barbazol Crow can. Wow. You know, so it's going to be a fun piece, and we're really excited. It'll have spring loaded. It's going to pop up. Yeah. It's going to do everything the original did. So. so many different licenses. Of course, you got Jared from Labyrinth. I can't yeah. believe that's 3D printed. That is so, <laughs> so detailed. Yeah, the, the, the head, the, the makeup. Good. Thank you very much. So good. Yeah, so the, the Hanson family basically have just, they freaked out over it. They, they absolutely love it. When we sent the images of this, they thought it was one-to-one -one scale. So that kind of, that was a nice compliment that mm -hmm. when you can take something that is small and make it look like size. Yeah. So. Wow, well, it's great to see you here, Paul. Absolutely. Early look at some of your products, and I yeah. can't wait for these to hit the market, and people can find out more on your website. Yeah, chroniclecollectibles.com, so it's great. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Norma, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching this video. If you were watching it and thinking, boy, I wish Tested sold a t-shirt, your prayers are answered. I am wearing the first Tested t-shirt that proudly proclaims that one day builds always take longer than a day. Buy yours right now in the link below.